gonna get serious. My whole life I felt like a stepchild uh, in school, uh, at home, and especially in music and rap where, where I uh, have a profession. Here's why women want you to dress like an eclectic grandpa in 2024. You haven't heard of eclectic grandpa. Dude, these are so really comfortable, really cozy, and it's stuff that your grandpa would wear. Some celebrities that come to mind when thinking about this. This is the first one I think would pop into anybody's head. Tyler, the creator, obviously an eclectic grandpa. Clearly Kendall Jenner, Emma Chamberlain, Matthew, of course, and obviously Andy Warhol, so. From flower boy to eclectic grandpa. To most people, the eclectic grandpa style is synonymous with artist Tyler, the creator. But is this really what the style is called? The eclectic grandpa is a term coined as a prediction term to a new menswear fashion core by inspo platform Pinterest. This was bound to happen as people micro hop from trend to trend and artisanal brands such as Bode, Capital and Story MFG grew in popularity and the goods that are a reference to items of clothing synonymous to an age of our parents and grandparents. However, the naming convention for this core is a major letdown from the get-go. The original name for Tyler's aesthetic was named after his 2017 fourth studio album Flower Boy or the Flower Boy aesthetic and is much more applaud worthy than the eclectic grandpa. Now I would be spreading misinformation if I was stating that Tyler was the only one to dress like this due to the difference in exposure we receive as individuals and that what I like as an individual differs from what you like as an individual. What I do find interesting is this current exploration of time that seems to be at the heart, eyes and ears of fashion a call to the old and soon to be forgotten. But in reality I don't feel that it's this feeling of nostalgia as many seem to think, rather a point of growth. A sense of maturity that some are accepting and others are actually growing up whilst others are dreading that they aren't going through the same points in their lives. This point becomes more noticeable when our friends and family members start to move at a faster pace than we are. And so when we are at this point, we turn to our parents and grandparents for guidance and advice, which is why we probably like this trend and why it will be around for a long time. Psych! <laughs> Listen, if you got in your feels, I'm sorry to pull you out like this, but here's the thing. The flower boy aesthetic never took off as a full trend aesthetic because the people who wanted to wear it were very young and didn't have money or access to many of these styles presented in the aesthetic. The eclectic grandpa aesthetic will also follow the same path. As to the reason this video is centered around Tyler the Creator for a brief moment is because that's today's lesson. A lesson in understanding oneself to be truly trendless is to know what you like. Being yourself is at the core of this aesthetic and whilst I and other creators can offer you a bloop as to what to buy, it is ultimately disingenuous. And while yes, this look can technically be achieved by buying a few pieces on your Pinterest board or mood board, the big point that people are pointing out is that the look of an eclectic grandpa or those that fit into that or dress into that category are only interesting because those people have collected special and unique and personal items over time and it isn't something you can exactly curate or buy overnight. This leads to a larger conversation to me about trends and the state of personal style amongst Gen Z on the internet. And yes, aesthetics can understandably cause a lot of fatigue, but I think we need to find that balance. And I think there is a way we can adapt certain pieces from items from a trend into our individual style. It's just a lot harder. It takes a lot more time, experimentation. And as Mandy Lee says with her 75, 75 style heart challenge, it's gonna take continuously getting dressed. This is something that Tyler understands and others alike. A brief side note, it doesn't mean that taking advice or seeking inspiration from others is a failure to finding yourself. In fact, you should always remember it like this. No one man or woman is great on their own, but become great because of the company they keep. Thanks for watching. If you have anything extra to add, please do so and share your thoughts. Also, share this video and like and subscribe. We got a whole lot more for you.